tell you, this is just not my idea of a successful marriage. What? You told me we were going to spend the evening talking. I don't think you've heard a word I've said all night. Louisa, darling, I've heard everything you've said. Everything. What I miss most, I think, is honesty. Louisa, darling, believe me, I think you're the most honest woman I've ever met. Thank you. Guido, how would you like a divorce? What? Because if you don't change your ways, I'm going to leave you. Louisa, darling, Louisa, this is not a very good moment in my life. Nor in mine. As it happens at this moment, I have a great many things on my mind. I can imagine. Guido, are you paying attention to me? Absolutely. Conti, are you trying to avoid me? Absolutely not. I certainly hope not. Mama. Guido. <laughs> Mama, Mama, Mama. Guido, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Why do you always ask me that? I'm not a child. I'm a mature Italian film director. <laughs> and as such, I'm perfectly capable of conducting my own affairs. <laughs> Louisa, darling, listen. Why don't we go away, someplace quiet where I can ease my mind, live like a monk? All right. But it is your last chance, hmm? Here in Venice, at Fontana de Luna, Europe's most exclusive spa, rejuvenation awaits you. At Fontana de Luna, there are waters fed by springs coming from somewhere deep, deep down. Springs of purity and health. Springs renowned for their amazing restorative powers. It's what I need. Wait, no. What? If you don't want to be recognized, why don't we go to a spa that's less well known? Because if I did that, people will get the idea I'm hiding. Oh no. Reporters. Reporters. Guido Contini. Guido Contini. Guido Contini is here at the spa. Not since Charlie Chaplin has there ever been a film director like this. Guido Contini. Everything he does gets world attention, whether it's a hit or a miss. Guido A lot of money. He's a director. With a lot of price. And even more, he's a consummate actor. So, what's your new film about, Guido? I never discuss a film until I finish. Your producer writing. claims you haven't even started it. That's ridiculous. Where is she? In Paris, trying to find you. Guido. Carla, my God, what are you doing in Venice? to tell you. Claudia. I'm trying to reach you. I need you for my film. Senor Catini, telephone 970 is from Paris. Claudia? No, it's Lillian Lefleur, your producer. Remember me? Oh, yes. I still haven't seen a script. What are you doing in Venice? I'm, uh, I'm scouting locations. Oh, I see. That must mean the film's going to be shot in Venice. Thanks for telling me. I'll see you tomorrow. Wonderful. Don't trust your big. Oh, she's coming here. Don't trust your small. Oh, what do I do? He sketches costumes. And that's no more. I'm not a He writes the subtitles. Please help me. If you don't mind, no more questions. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll hold a press conference tomorrow. Contini, is there any truth to the rumor that your marriage is in jeopardy? None whatsoever. Everything he does. What about your husband's friendship with Carla Albanese? My husband has many friends. When was the last time he saw Claudia Nardi? Oh, please. When will you understand? My husband hates movies to make them. He lives a kind of dream In which his actions aren't always what they seem He may be on to some unique romantic theme Some men buy stocks Some men punch clocks Some leap where others fear to tread My husband as author and director Makes up stories in his head. Guido Contini, Luisa Del Forno, actress with dreams and a life of her own. Passionate, wild, and in love in Livorno. Singing with Guido all night on the phone. Long ago, someone else ago. How he needs her so, and he'll be the last to know it. My husband makes movies, to make them he makes himself obsessed. He works for weeks on end without a bit of rest. No other way can he achieve his level best. Some men read books, some shine their shoes, some retire early when they've heard the evening news. My husband only rarely comes to bed. My husband makes movies instead. My husband makes movies. Thank you very much, Mrs. Contini. I can't make this movie. There's no way that I'll begin it. I can't bear to see the cameras roll. Problem is the subject. There's no pleasant way to treat it. Problem is the other lost control. How I wish it didn't have to be so But we cut the losses starting now Strike the set and keep it for some side show Tell the cast and crew that they can all go Find another genius I can't be one or become one I can't even tell how I begin Help me, sir, help, help me, mama Help me, someone Here's a place where I had never been We go out in space with no direction We go at a loss for what to say We go with no intervening actors We go at the mercy of detractors We go here when no one else but me Nothing holds together Nothing makes a bit of sense now Impossible to grasp or understand How can I go on to watch the whole of my existence End up being nothing that I planned Have I lost myself and all I wished for Has my life become a mindless game Guido, I can't stand the name of Guido for God's sake, who is this Guido? Guido here with no one else but Guido. This day. Guido.